my name's Jackie Bell. I'm the Chief Executive of Voluntary Action Cardiff, which is a, uh, an organisation set up to help other organisations, community groups, charities, do what they want to do. And, and Jackie, what's the mood in the voluntary sector at the moment, considering the impending cuts that are going to be sort of coming soon? Well, we've talked a little bit about that. Um, they th mostly are quite resolute um, people uh, that work in our sector, work for charities, work for community groups, whether as a volunteer or as a paid worker, are very often resolute about what they're doing. So they're quite um, committed, really committed to what they're doing, what they're trying to achieve. So we're quite prepared to shoulder... Um, any cuts that come their way, they know that, that there is a need for what they're doing, they will intend to continue, however. So the resoluteness is still there, it's a strong sector in that sense. People are, though, resigned to the fact that public sector cuts are coming. Many of our um, community groups, voluntary organisations that are members of Voluntary Action Cardiff will, without a doubt, get their funding from the public sector, so Cardiff Council, maybe the University Health Board for Cardiff in the Vale, um, some even from the police and fire service and they will all be experiencing cuts as public sector organisations so they will be anticipating, they are anticipating and quite resigned to the fact that, um, that cuts will be coming. One of the things that is going to be important for us to do is start to think about how we manage that process, how we can um, respond to, the, to the, the call to protect public services and to make sure that we're working with some of the, keep working with some of the most vulnerable communities in Cardiff make sure that we concentrate on what's needed for them. And, and what is it that your organisation is doing at the moment sort of between the central government announcements and when um, sort of more local announcements will come from Welsh Semi-Government and Cardiff Council? Well we're expecting the settlements to come to all local authorities across Wales, so for Cardiff around the 24th, 25th. Um, so we're trying to um, bring together a range of sector leaders um, so that what, what I might call the great and the good, we wouldn't necessarily consider ourselves to be that, but sector leaders to start to look at any, poten any impact of the potential cuts and what we can do about that together. Um, now, that might be challenging some cuts, but it also might be about equipping ourselves for changing the way we work. So that might be working together better, working with our partners better, changing the way um, we deliver our services. We talked earlier about... Um, using information technology, so Twitter, Facebook, how we promote ourselves. Um, it may well be that we, um, some organisations will have to merge, but it's about one of the things we're trying to do is bring together sector leaders and smaller community groups and voluntary organisations across the whole of Cardiff through six road shows that we'll be holding um, in the daytime, in the evening, to bring people together to start to think about how they might equip themselves for change. So they'll get a bit of funding advice, They'll get advice about running their organisation, changing the way they deliver services, promoting themselves, how to become a member of VAC if they're not, so that they, so they are a member of a, a strong voice, they have a, a voice that's going to lobby on their behalf. Um, we're also undertaking a survey, which is a bit grim. You need to fill it out if people are interested in, um, in helping us gather the evidence about the impact that the sector has and the value that the sector has. Um, if we can start to prove when we're lobbying, if we can know the sector in Cardiff really well and start to prove the size of the sector, the number of people that work in the sector, the number of people that volunteer in Cardiff, the amount of money that community groups and charities bring in from, from other sources, so from charitable trusts, from the big lottery, as well as local, local giving, that will all help us promote the sector um, and, and start to prove the worth of the sector. One of the things we're trying to do is guess, and it is guesstimate, guesstimates. Um, certainly when you look at the comprehensive spending review in terms of UK, the Home Office and Home Office community safety type organisations um, will, uh, it looks like they're looking at quite, quite high cuts in terms of um, maybe 40, 50, even 60% cuts. So those organisations working with um, refugees or asylum seekers or working in uh, criminal justice or uh, on community safety type projects locally, they, they will certainly need to start to think about their work. Um, groups working with children and young people will probably be okay, but nevertheless, you know, even groups working in such health and social care, children and young people where there is a, a, a real commitment to protect those types of services, still need to start to think about um, maybe their grants that the, and the grant aid that they get not increasing. Um, and, and, and the fact that they're going to be working in a, a greater need more than likely, um, that's going to be something that's going to impact on them. Groups working in the field of benefit
benefits and benefits advice, groups working in housing, um, all of those in regeneration, they're, gonna, they, they're certainly going to have to look at how they um, respond to the future challenges that they're going to face because they, they're likely to, to be s facing significant challenges too.